That chunk of water which seems insignificant compared to Earth, well, that is what keeps every living organism alive. Without all of that water, life would not even start progressing on Earth. So it is a very important chunk of water. So if we deprive the Earth of our ocean and every bit of fresh water in it, in order to create a fully oceanic planet, well then everything alive on Earth would be dead. As drastically, all of the ecosystems would fail without the basic ingredient, water. Every organism has it. And the temperatures would also rise and Earth would become a hell world. So then, first of all, are fully oceanic water planets even possible? Well, we can't pinpoint exactly where that is the case in the universe, but we have found a few exoplanets, planets outside of the solar system, that are likely oceanic and contain more water than the Earth, with incredible depths that would turn water into ice at higher pressures. This all means that fully oceanic planets are likely possible, but also likely extremely rare. So then, let's take out all of the ocean water and fresh water on Earth and turn it into a planet and let it go around a similar distance that the Earth does from the Sun, so that that water would stay liquid. Then what would this planet be like? Let's see. So this planet would be spherical, but would only have one two thousandth the mass of the Earth. Yet, still, this ocean planet would weigh more than Ceres, which is a dwarf planet. This shows how huge our oceans are. Now, calculating the diameter and gravity on the surface of this Earth-ocean planet is a bit tricky, because as the depth in this ocean planet rises, the density also does, meaning it is very hard to know how big would this planet be. But it would be larger than the dwarf planet Ceres at at least over 1000 kilometers in diameter and would have a surface gravity of around 0.3 meters per second square or more but that is still around 30 times weaker than Earth's gravity. In order for this planet to have a surface liquid ocean it would also need to form an atmosphere. Likely the atmosphere that would be formed would be mostly water vapor, in other words a cloud atmosphere. This also means that from space, this ocean planet would seem as if it is a tiny, white, cloudy, gassy planet because the surface water would not be even visible at first. But it should be noted that water vapor is a greenhouse gas, which means that the liquid surface of the ocean would be very hot, a couple of times hotter than the current average temperature on Earth. Here is the interesting part, as the deeper it would get in the ocean, the water would eventually turn into ice because of pressure and this tiny planet would have a solid icy core. This ocean would also be a couple of hundreds of kilometers deep, compared with the current deepest part of the ocean on Earth, which is 11 kilometers deep. This world would also need to constantly have an evaporating water in order to create an atmosphere. Otherwise, the whole ocean would just escape into space, and all that would be left is an even smaller icy core. So for humans, going inside this planet would be like entering a cloud. When landing onto the water, water would splash and the waves and water molecules would take a lot more time to fall and settle. It would feel as if you were watching a slow motion water. If humans wanted to swim here, they would also need to have their equipped pressurized suits on because if they took the suits out, the pressure may be too great and the hot water vapor in the atmosphere would burn their lungs, leading to their somewhat quick death. So if humans wanted to swim, they would not be able to really do it, since they would just float because of weak gravity. While taking a dive and while looking at the floor, it would all be very dark and would seem a bit scary looking at all that pitch blackness. But what would happen with all that life that was once in the ocean on Earth? Well, would humans find any life in this hypothetical Earth's ocean? The answer is likely no, since algae and other important food chain species would not have a solid rocky ground to hold on to, meaning it would deprive the ocean of oxygen and in turn would make ocean lifeless. That is, it would make complex organisms such as sharks, whales, squids and many others go extinct. But 
What would be there is likely some forms of hardy bacteria. Still, it is unpredictable on would the ocean have any life, since cyanobacteria could start producing oxygen again in an unexpected event, leading to an added oxygen into the atmosphere and sea, making new complex life form again. So, all in all, this tiny planet that would consist of all of Earth's ocean, including all of fresh water, would be quite a weird place, with a foggy cloudy atmosphere and a deep dark ocean. It is though a totally hypothetical scenario, but it is interesting to know on how would these imaginative planets be like in reality.